G'day everyone, I'm Wayne from Land and Bay Fishing. Welcome to the channel. Well today we're going to do another Maps and Spots video. This one we're going to focus on Nudgee. So the mouth of Nudgee, Nudgee Beach, and then Kedron Brook or Nudgee River. I call it Nudgee River, but it is Kedron Brook. So a bit of an overview. You've got a really good boat ramp there with four ramps and a pontoon down the middle. Really great parking there for the boat ramp. So you're never short of a park. You move a little bit further to the east and you'll find a little park area with a, a really good little jetty there. That jetty's workable both low tide and high tide. Um, there's always people fishing on that jetty, but the good thing about that jetty, if you look to your left or your right, you'll see there's plenty of fishing spots along the bank, and it's quite good fishing there, especially out toward the mouth. As you go around the corner, you've got massive sand flats there. You go for a walk with your dog during the day. There's a huge amount of food around on those flats, so very attractive to the fish through the, the uh, incoming tide and the outgoing tide. Not so much obviously at low tide it's empty. We'll take a look at a Navionics map here. You can see here the beauty of looking at the maps before you go fishing. There's two areas here, out, one out toward the mouth. It's quite a deep hole. It's a very good place to fish for your tailor in the winter time and your whiting in the summertime. If you look a little bit further to the west you'll see another hole that's very concentrated. goes down to about two and a half, three meters and that is very accessible from a land based fishing perspective and uh, that's where you'll catch your sharks, really good shark spot in the uh, summertime and in the winter time you'll get your, your flatty and your brim. So just stand on the jetty there and look down toward the mouth. This is good for everyone, whether you're a family or whether you're an individual fisho. If you're an individual and you're chasing flathead, just start at the jetty there and walk out toward the mouth, flick yourself plastics along that, uh, that area and you won't be disappointed. If, you, if you're a family and uh, you want to take the kids fishing, especially small kids, it's a great little spot to throw out a couple of chairs, throw a few rods in, a little bit of burly in the water, and generally speaking you'll pick up brim. Now as you go around the corner to the front, um, Nudgee Beach, it, it's a bit misleading, it's not really a beach, at high tide it's completely covered by water, and the water will be all the way in and quite deep, about a metre deep. So the fish do push up, especially because there's so many mangroves, it's a great spot to go. If you if you go down there, you fish really light up hard against the mangroves, so just off to the side of the mangroves and have your bait wafting around just at the edges of the mangroves, you will pick up some really good quality brim there on high tide. Low tide, if you've got the legs, walk out to the, uh, the front there, and even after you get out at the front, it's still quite a shallow area, but all the fish that come up and feed on those flats push out and just sit out in that, that uh, meter of water out the front there and wait for the tide to come back in. So it's well worth walking out the front there and fishing for your flathead. You know, Nudgy Beach, it is an excellent little fishing spot. From the boat ramp all the way around the front, you won't be short of fishing spots. If you've got a boat, you can fish to the west. Make sure you give the shark fishing a try in Kedron Brook. The sharks are all the way through there. I like going up under the bridge, put your pots in just before the bridge, sit under the bridge, catch a shark or two, pick your pots up on the way home, you'll pick up a muddy. Well, that brings us to the end of another video. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the like button and I'll catch you on the next one.